Channel 33, RPM. Hey, it's Frank here again. Today we're talking to 1980s dirty dancing hit maker, Alfie Zappa Costa. <laughs> Hey, thanks for sticking around. Now, Zappa Costa is probably best known for his hit Overload, which appeared on the Dirty Dancing soundtrack in 1987. A year later, he won a Canadian Juno and picked up some hardware at the American Music Awards. Now, Zappa Costa is back with a whole new band. I was lucky enough to catch them jamming this week. They were preparing for an upcoming concert, which is being filmed for a live DVD. Check it out. I don't pay huge attention to it, but it's that uh, people, they, they can't help but remind me of it. And I guess what, it's still, it's still alive, it's still going, and, and it's like anything else, the harder you work, the lucky you get. And in that particular thing, I never in a million years expected it. So it's been a real trip, and it's been wonderful to be able to know that I was in that. It allowed me, uh, you know, from, it allowed me uh, some freedom. Uh, spending time with the kids to make sure everybody's taken care of, you know, being a uh, provider and financially, is, you know, to, to be able to know that that was there and, and your work was worthwhile after all this time. I really can't keep up with it, with the, the world of uh, YouTube and the world of Twitter or Facebook and stuff and the way things are, are done these days and then what you get a chance to see. The idea of a lot of clubs where I would go to look at situations. See, I don't sit in front of TV and want to watch, you know, you know, the states or even someone's got talent or whatever. I mean, I, I not into that. So to start searching things out on YouTube, I'd rather go out to a club and see something. That, that those old days, they don't, they kind of don't exist anymore. I don't. Everything that I've done is I, I've kept moving along. I've, I've kept reinventing. I keep doing things. So there's no reason why people shouldn't see that it's all completely possible and just keep moving. I am not the 1980s, 1970 dude that was like, you know, the record company wanted to make a pop star because you might have been cute or something like that. Yeah, let's roll around in jello and have them kissing all sorts of women and be completely sexual. Because the whole thing was a joke. <laughs> But to go back now, you're going to get the, the, the whole anthology, basically, of songs that were the hit songs back then, done the way they were done back then, with a whole horn section on loud guitars. To the strip down to where Alfie is now. So the background vocals and the horn sections and stuff is just adding to all what is necessarily to make this all happen. And up to like 15 people on stage, 14 people on stage at some points in the climaxes and stuff just smoking. So uh, it's uh, quite the endeavor. It's going to be a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun meeting Alfie, and his band was awesome. Listen, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this episode, consider leaving a quick like. Comments and shares are also always appreciated. Vinyl friends, until next time, remember, keep on spinning.